You are about to see a tiny board that claims to pick six tops of AI power, handle 8K video, and power industrial grade projects. Time to see what's inside. I'm not sure if it's just the board or maybe a few surprises. Let's open it together and find out what Yudo has sent us. Okay, here we go. Let's see what's inside. First thing that greets us is a neat little plastic bag baked with jumper wires. Next up, a sleek heatsink and standoffs. And right here, this is a debug adapter module. It's used by developers to connect, test and get deeper access to the board during setup and development. Moving on, we have got a 12V 3Ms power adapter. That's strong enough to keep this Edge AI board running smoothly. A USB-C cable because of course modern single board computers are all about that versatility. And finally, the star of the show wrapped in an anti-static bag. Let's take it out and have a closer look. Here it is, the Yuyito Y3588 Development Kit version 3.0. This is not your average single board computer. It's a serious piece of hardware built around the ROG chip RK3588 processor. This chip is made with an advanced 8NM process and it takes 8 cores. 4 high performance Cortex A76 cores running up to 2.4 GHz and 4 efficient Cortex A55 cores at 1.8 GHz. On top of that, you get a built in neural processing unit NPU with 6 tops of AI power. That means it's strong enough for machine learning, computer vision, robotics, and all kinds of HA projects. When it comes to memory and storage, you have got options. RAM starts from 4 GB and goes all the way up to 32 GB of LPDDR4 or LPDDR4X. For storage, you can choose onboard eMMC from 32 GB up to 256 GB, and if that's not enough, you can expand with NVMe SSDs through M2 a SATA 3 port, SPI flash, or even a micro SD card. Networking is solid too. You get 1 gigabit Ethernet and 12.5G Ethernet port built in. It supports Wi Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2 with the RTL 8852BE module. And if you need mobile connectivity, there is also a mini PCIe slot with SIM card support for 4G LTE. For displays, this board is loaded. It has HDMI 2.1 that supports 8K at 60fps or 4K at 120fps. Two MIP DSi ports for up to 4K, display port 1.4 over Type-C and an EDP interface. It even has HDMI input and dual MIPI CSI interfaces for cameras, so it's ready for AI vision projects out of the box. This board picks a ton of interfaces you have got audio, buttons, USB, UART, I2C, KN, RTC, LED lights, power, NFC, infrared, a cooling fan, and even 30 pin expansion headers. On top of that, it's already set up to work with big name operating systems like Android 14, Debian 12, Ubuntu 22.04, Buildroot, and Open Harmony 5.1. I only have covered the most important features here but honestly there are so many other things baked into this board. If you want the full picture, I highly recommend checking out the product official page. It's loaded with details. The Yuyito Y3588 actually comes pre-installed with Android 14 right out of the box. So you can start using it immediately. But here's the cool part. If you want to try other operating systems, you are not limited at all. You can easily explore and install them by heading over to this official page, Yuyito Wiki Burn Images. Here you will find step-by-step -step detailed information on how to set up and burn different operating system images. For now, since Android 14 is already up and running on this board, I'm going to stick with it and show you how it performs. So let's dive in and actually see the output together. I've also added stains off to the board which makes it much easier to handle and manage. For the initial testing, I'll be using this monitor since it supports HDMI input. Later, I will test it with a 75-inch LCD where we will be checking 8K video playback. Next, connect your mouse and keyboard. As you can see, the setup is now complete and honestly, it only takes about a minute to get everything ready. So let's go ahead and power it up. Right away, you will notice the red and green LEDs blinking 
that's the confirmation that the board has successfully booted. And wow, there it was fast. In under 15 seconds, it's already up and running on the home screen. Next, I spent a little more time exploring it and honestly, the interface feels just like using a smartphone. It's super smooth and user friendly. If you have ever used an Android phone, you will feel right at home here. Within just a few minutes, you will get the hang of it. No learning curve, no complicated steps. Everything is right where you would expect it to be. That's what really impressed me. The speed, the simplicity, and the fact that it gives you desktop-like power, but with the ease of a mobile phone. I also tested out opening a few images on this, and honestly, the clarity really surprised me. The details are sharp, colors pop out nicely, and zooming in or scrolling feels smooth, just like you would expect from a modern device. It doesn't lag, and everything loads up instantly. Then, I went ahead and played some videos as well. And that's where it got even more interesting. The playback was super smooth, no stuttering and the sound syncs perfectly. Whether it's short clips or long videos, it handles them without any struggle. And the display quality really makes the videos enjoyable. You can easily use this for entertainment, tutorials or even professional demos. By the way, I should mention that this board didn't come with the RTL 8852BE Wi-Fi module. But luckily, when Yuido sent me the X1SBC earlier, they had included the RTL 8852BE module with it. So for checking the internet here, I will just remove that module from the X1 board and connect it with this one. So let's quickly do it. After connecting the RTL 8852BE module, I powered the system back on. And now let's check if it can detect my mobile hotspot in the available networks list. Perfect, it's right there. The second one in the list is my mobile hotspot. Let's connect. And wow, it connected instantly. Super fast, no waiting around. To test the speed, I played a few YouTube videos and the playback was absolutely smooth, no buffering, no delay. Then I opened up a couple of websites including the official Yuito website and the browsing experience felt really fast and seamless. Right now, I'm testing an online game. I'm driving this car and the gameplay is very smooth. no leg at all the sound is also amazing i can hear the engine and the tires very clearly it feels real next i connected it to my 75 inch lcd and honestly the moment i played an 8k video it felt like another level altogether the colors popped out the details were razor sharp and every frame looked alive on such a big screen i didn't just watch the video i felt like i was inside it the playback was smooth, no lag, no frame drop. It was pure next-gen performance. So, whether you are making an IoT gateway, a smart robot, a machine vision system, or even big digital screens for aids and menus, the Yuito Y3588 gives you the speed and connectivity you need. It's powerful, flexible, and ready for Industry 4.0 projects. So, that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in the next episode and thanks for watching.